Now then, using the stall bars is what other countries use all the time from a very young age. If you are lucky to have them in your gym, you really need to use them because it creates the right flexibility and strength. So we're gonna start with them facing the railing. The right leg's gonna go up to a standing split. You saw on the beam, we were training the standing split. The bottom leg is parallel, pull in as far as you can. They grab down below by their hip and they arch back. Okay, good. And then they try to pull their top leg away, 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 and come up and change legs. So it takes their standing split that they did on the beam and moves it into being active with the walkover stuff. Parallel, parallel, and arch back. And then when you're down there, pull away. You gotta grab lower. I do? Nope. All the way. Relax. Your head back. Can you relax your shoulders and go down? And go. And change. Turn around. Needle. And right leg up. Grab by the hip. Turn the hands over. Turn the hands. And lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. And pull away. Two, three, four, five. And you'll see this move. And change legs. Up and grab. And lift up. All the way. Chest up. And pull away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this makes it to where you can do beautiful back walkovers and front walkovers with that standing split that's supposed to be in it. So you have to be able to use the stall bars. They have to be able to lift up by themselves. So spot them until they can lift by themselves and then they should be able to do it. And don't avoid the tight kids because the tight kids will end up finding their right range of motion. So spot them until they can do it by themselves. And then after you get it to where you can pull away, you try little pieces of tubing here, slip their foot in it, and they pull the tubing away. That makes them have strength in their 180 degree split.